Uh, what's up, road trippers? Uh, Dwayne here with you. Uh, we finally made it to uh, Sparta, New Jersey. We're here with Jim Miller at the new Miller Brothers MMA facility. Um, Jim, let him, like tell these people where we're standing, what this thing's all about. A dream come true, right? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, we're, we're basically standing in the middle of uh, our main mat space, which is uh, 2,800 square feet. You know, Dan and I have been looking for uh, a facility to open up, and we found found a gem, you know. So we have uh, a nice big place here, and. Um, you know, we've got a cage going up in the other room and full locker room, stuff like that. So it's, uh, everything's coming along and, and hopefully beginning of next month, November 1st, we'll be uh, opening the doors. And that's great that, that you, uh, we got, to, we get an early sneak peek and we'll, before, you know, this is all said and done, we'll show you uh, all the great stuff they have and also the, the fine wood, woodworking of uh, Master Jim Miller here. We're about to go camping and, and you'll see all that craziness, but this camping thing we've been trying to do this for yeah. like we've been talking about doing this for years yeah. and like we were going to do it before like a couple years ago and the rain hit it was real mm -hmm. bad and then uh and then finally like this all came together it's kind of like put up or shut up because like i was joking for a long time yeah i could handle it and you know <laughs> this guy can handle it and now now we have to do it so so that should be cool so tell you you do a lot of um you do a lot of traveling you fought all over the world mm -hmm. what are like uh like what would three essential things that you would do like uh, what do you need for any like road trip like, what are Miller Essentials? Uh, on a road trip? Yeah. I mean, first and foremost is a piss bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> hey, you heard it here, folks. Okay, you ain't stopping. You're going to stop. Yeah, no, I got to go Just stop for nothing. Um, you know, I need coffee. Okay. I need, I need coffee. and uh, Don't those two go hand in hand, though? Basically. Coffee and a piss bottle? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, for the, you know, when, when you're stopped, I, I need a beer. I need yeah. a beer to relax. Yeah? And, What's Jim Miller listening to? As you're putting miles uh, under the tires, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm you interested know, I'm, now. I want to know, uh, especially when I'm driving. I'm a I'm a singer and a dancer, uh, and and I don't often show that side. Yes. Uh, so you, you, this you know, is breaking news because <laughs> I, I normally get interviewed about fighting and, and yeah uh, and and like interpreting it, dance. Yeah, in no, I, I, I you got moves like I yeah I'm a goofball. Yeah, okay. Um, so I like you know. The 80s pop stuff like that like okay i know i'll, I'll belt it out too while i'm, I'm like driving. tiffany 80s pop or like uh like uh like wham what are you talking yeah about? I'll, I'll listen to wham you know? <laughs> that's how tough this guy is he'll do wham like it's no problem <laughs> i'll sing careless whisper yeah. what about hollow notes how do you feel about that you, i love hollow notes <laughs> like you said that with conviction yeah like man. like the you, most successful Duo of all time, they're five number one hits. Uh, well, what about Simon and Garfunkel? They're pretty successful. Yeah, yeah, but oh, they, they don't have they don't have shit on Hall and Oates. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what you learned today, folks. You learned that Jim Miller, not only being one of the best 155 pounders in the world, has a new gym, but he also is an '80s pop fanatic, and he travels with a piss bottle. That's great. <laughs> you know, how's that for headlines? You know, that's going to be all over the place. I got a slideshow for you. <laughs> but we'll be catching up to you soon. Uh, stay tuned.